Hello YouTubers, this is GQR Diagnostics and Repair, where my job was to save you money. Working at the 2017 Chevy Tahoe 5.3 liter automatic two wheel drive, and we have a code P16E4. It's giving us a code of one of the the driver's side, I believe it is um, uh, fuel pressure goes on the fuel line fuel rail uh, it's not reading right so what we're gonna do we have to remove the intake manifold to troubleshoot it okay so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna start with a 516 millimeter to remove right here I'll loosen up the air filter breather so here we're gonna press it's gonna twist a little. Okay, there you go. This one, something like this. Make sure you're careful because this, this can get very uh, brittle because of the heat on the engine. Now it's gonna come off. Next step we need to do, we need to disconnect uh, the throttle. This is already just there. Press. So when you see this a little locks, push them back. Now you can go ahead and depress and pull. So this one is blue, I think. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get things. I don't know if I need to move this one or not. No, I don't think so. It's right here on the map sensor. Press. What's going on here? Yes, it is. Let's see. There you go. This little lock it goes here sideways right there to prevent from coming loose map sensor the perch valve press here press in no I'm sorry it's press twist and comes out now from here the next thing that we need to do, we need to remove this 10 millimeter, one, two, three, four, five. Look like five on each side, uh, both. Okay, the two on the back, that the one, the tricky ones. But beside that, everything else should be pretty straightforward. Oh, before I forget, disconnect this. This line right here goes into the intake right here connected so here press in and pull press and pull okay so that way everything can come all together yes, sir. this is what I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a uh, quarter inch ratchet at this extension okay we have this two and the swivel so let's see what I can do here and I use this not a sponsor by Milwaukee but that's what I'm using okay so here going to break it loose that way we can just get this done and out of the way the short one 
here. Let's go just get on the back. Now that everything is loose here, this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to use the long one. loose Let's see if we can use the tool along and get this thing loose. We'll oh yeah, I did. Okay, perfect. Sometimes it takes a little while. And right here is what it sometimes it gets tricky because the area, the angle. They all are loose now. Perfect. Now here, what we're gonna do, we are going to remove everything out of the way. Now this should be able to lift up, oh, right here, this one. I almost forgot to disconnect it. Let's go right here, okay, on the perch valve, I believe it is. Now, this should be able to lift it up and pull it. Perfect. part that we're looking it should be that one right right there okay so right here this this from the bottom okay. let me stop the video for a second and I gotta move things around all right guys so my camera overheated 
and that's why like I, I thought I was filming but anyhow the problem was the engine I replaced the engine on this vehicle I just didn't pay attention that with the new used replacement engine that we put this have four prongs right there okay you can see it right there there are four the original one it takes three okay so I already replaced it right here so this is the one it came with the new engine so what do you need to do you need to switch the harness from the driver's side it's on the head because he has uh, one what are you four connectors okay yep this in here in one of these corners have an extra one obviously the other one doesn't have it so I already replaced this it's pretty easy pretty straightforward just make sure you this is a 1516 uh, wrench or, or socket okay I use this to replace it just break it down slowly so that way in case you have some built up fuel pressure it doesn't spray all over and cause an issue all right keep that in mind so I replace the harness now make sure there we go it clicks this goes in everything else is good give me a sec I'm going to make sure that I clean pores one more time right here and it happens when you are you know, running short on time and some things with the GoPro come back to the, the camera you know they overheat quite fast so especially if you you fixing vehicles and you working I gotta need a different camera gotta reinstall this give me a second how this thing goes now this goes over there I believe yeah that goes like that Does keep the heat from going into the uh, the intake, prevent the, the air to get too hot, but also keep quiet from the injector noise as well. So that way, I better say that because somebody you might correct me that I said it wrong. Or I didn't say it right. Anyhow. Now here, it's time to put the, the intake. Make sure you pay attention that all your gaskets are in place. Everything is clean, so that way you guys can. Uh, can uh, install it successfully. All right, I'm gonna stop the video now because I really need to focus. I need to be here on top of the engine. And I gotta get this thing done. Make sure there's nothing else going on. All right, guys, I will continue the video when the vehicle's running. To see if we have any issues here. Because when I got it running, it runs good. But I got a message that code and the power of the engine was limited 
So we needed to get this thing taken care of. Everything is good. Just to make sure this stuff is out of the way. As much as possible. So let's go up here. So far, so good. We're gonna snag all the bolts here, and we're gonna go from there. Okay, this one. Don't use the aim pack on this one because in case the bolt does not line up correctly, you don't want to cross thread you are uh, you the threads and create an issue with your repair and make more work that is necessary. Just remember that. So always take your time. Maybe. All right, guys. 